Our first comedy movie of January, you know it had to star Kevin Hart. How else would you kick off the year? Right along. Two. So Ride Along 2 is the sequel to the first Ride Along movie that came out a couple years ago and it stars Ice Cube, Kevin Hart, they're back again, the two brothers-in-law are back again for another buddy cop movie and is the movie good? I'm not gonna lie guys, this movie is good in that, you know, comedy January movie type of way. It, it, it's for a comedy movie in January, it did its job pretty well, so there that goes. Uh, there are some funny parts of the movie, there are some parts that are kind of hit and miss, or a lot of parts that are familiar, but overall, for January, what you would expect a comedy movie to be in January, put it like that. Now, gonna jump right into it, guys, look into the pros and cons, why I believe that it's a lot along too, comes out this Friday, check it out, here's why. My first off, I think in the movie, Ice Cube, Kevin Hart, they are back in the movie, and they're pretty much the same characters as you remember them. I'm throwing out with my man, Ice Cube. Ice Cube, I relate to his character the most. I like him, he's a hard ass of shit. He was good in the first one, good in this one, so Ice Cube had to change his character too dramatically, so there that goes, he's still good in the movie. Kevin Hart's the one that, Kevin Hart, I feel like, is even more wackier in this movie than he was in the last movie. What comes to one of the cons I'll say about the movie, this is like a personal con for me. It's not, may not be a con for you, but just personally for me, I felt like there were some parts of the movie, Kevin Hart was just being overacting eccentric Kevin Hart. Like, I remember last year when I saw The Wedding Ringer, I liked that Kevin Hart. That Kevin Hart, he wasn't, he had the perfect balance with the force. That was good. This Kevin Hart was just pretty much real husbands of Hollywood Kevin Hart. So if you like that Kevin Hart, then you'll like him in this movie. If you hate him in that TV show, then this movie is going to be like Kevin Hart. Bring it back. But they introduced two new characters to the movie, and the one chick, gosh, she's hot. Can't think of her name, though, but she's hot. And the one Chinese dude from the Hangover series. He's in the movie, too, so they brought their own comedic moments to the movie. Some of it was good, some of it was hit and miss, but overall, the acting overall was pretty decent. The next plot in the movie, plot is simple as hell. You pretty much, this is a buddy cop movie. A buddy cop movie that takes place in Miami, Florida, so you know what that means. I mean, cocaine, drugs, guns, drug lords, Rattle on too. Kevin Hart still trying to prove to Ice Cube's character that he still got what it takes, you know, he can be a cop, you know, he can be a cop, prove it to him, prove it to his wife, prove it to everybody on the force that he's a cop and he can get the job done. And so Ice Cube pretty much takes Kevin Hart down to Miami to take down Tony Stark's evil Puerto Rican stepbrother to blow the lid on his entire criminal organization. While at the same time proving that he's got the stuff, he's got the stuff here, what a cop is made of. And that's your movie, more or less. And now, like I said, prior to the movie, the comedy is a comedy. It worked in the movies pretty good. I will also say that a, a lot of the comedic moments and comedy parts in the movie you saw in the trailers that came out a couple months ago. And I have to say, I have to address that. There are parts in the movie where like that was straight out the trailer, and mm, it was funny in the trailer. Seeing it now, it loses its magic for me a little bit. Also, one thing I'll say real quick: the movie is predictable. You know how this movie's gonna go. Matter of fact, I'll go so much to say that I feel like Bad Boys and Bad Boys Two were pioneer movies like right along to exist so if you know those movies you know this movie but like I said at the end of the day guys right along too it is a decently enjoyable movie for a January flick it's a January comedy movie it's gonna do its job that you needed to do it's gonna make you laugh it's gonna entertain you with that mindless action and shit and the comedy IQ was good in the movie Kevin Hart was good in the movie even though he's kind of a cartoon in some parts he was still good so with that being said I'm gonna say that right along too does deserve a 7 out of 10 which is worth seeing at matinee spend five bucks to go see this movie and you'll be perfectly fine a nice little holdover movie for you this January okay, so right along too what do you think about it you're gonna go see the movie whatever you think about right along and right along too put in comments section let me know let's talk about it why not right, remember guys subscribe until next time